The SIU men and women's tennis team both hit the road over the weekend in some exciting matchups. And the SIU women's basketball team is on a roll with a six-game winning streak. Sydney, what do you have for us tonight? Well, we're going to find out how the SIU baseball team did as they traveled to Texas to take on the TCU Horned Frogs. Also, Coach Barry Hinson shares his thoughts on tonight's matchup against Wichita State. And we'll review how the St. Louis Blues and the Chicago Blackhawks have been doing. Stay on the couch, keep your eyes on the screen, and stick around for more sports in just 90 seconds. And now the latest scores and highlights from across the River Region. This is Evening Edition Sports. Well, folks, it's starting to be that time of the year again for hot dogs, peanuts, and home runs. But so far, the SAU baseball team isn't off to a great start. The men travel to Fort Worth, Texas to take on the number two ranked TCU Horn Frogs. The men left Lufton Stadium with an 0-3 record as the Salukis fell to the Horn Frogs in a three-game series. Will Farmer, Greg Lambert, and J.C. DeMar were the only dogs to collect a hit in the hard-fought series against TCU. Current weather conditions have been postponing and changing games all over the baseball schedule. This Wednesday, the men were supposed to be playing Austin P. However, that game has been moved to March 11th at Raymond C. Hand Park. This Friday's game against Eastern Kentucky has also been moved. The men will be playing in Emerson, Georgia at the Lake Point, Lake Point Sports Complex. The SEU women's track, track and field team are already making phenomenal strides this season. Over the weekend, the Salukis jumped up 12 spots to become the 13th ranked team in the nation. Much of the credit for this leap is due to freshman Raven Saunders. Saunders, who recently set the all-under junior record about a week ago, broke it again this past Saturday at the Fred Wilt Invitational. The track team will make the trip up I-57 to Eastern Illinois on the 20th for the Friday night special. And the Salukis return to the arena tonight to take on number 13th ranked Wichita State. While the Shockers are coming into Carbonell riding a four-game winning streak, the Dogs are trying to break their unlucky streak. Over the weekend, the Dogs fell to Evansville 72-64. to The Salukis will attempt to slow down the Shockers, uh, Shockers shooting guard, Ron Baker, who averages 15 points per game while shooting 45% from the field. After the game against Evansville, Coach Barry Hinson gave up his thoughts on tonight's matchup. You know, for me as a coach, I think it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for our fans. And uh, we'll come in here tomorrow. We'll start putting together a game plan. And uh, all I know is who I am, and I'm going to come in here and fight my butt off. The men's game starts at 7.05 tonight at the SIU Arena. And the SIU women's basketball team accomplished something they haven't done since the 90s. The Dogs defeated Indiana State on the road 76-58 for the first time since December 29, 1999. The women extended their current winning streak to six games despite committing a season high of 25 turnovers. This is usually a recipe for losing games. However, the Salukis played great defense, out-rebounded the Sycamores 44-27, and forcing a season high of 12 steals. SIU will look to extend their winning streak to seven games this Friday as they play Missouri State. And over the weekend, the SIU tennis teams traveled on the road to take on Murray State and Valparaiso. Both men and women's tennis teams dropped their matches 5-2 to two over the weekend. The women's team received a stellar performance from freshman Victoria Biero, winning her match 7-6 to six and 6-4 six to four against Murray State. Although, as a whole, the team lost... Junior Johnny Rigby and Michael Kianka extended their win streak to four matches against Valparaiso. The tennis teams returned home this Friday as the women take on SIUE and the men face McKendree University. And in NHL news, the St. Louis Blues are currently on a three-game winning streak. The Blues defeated Tampa Bay 6-3 last Thursday on, and Florida in a thrilling shootout 2-1 in their last two games. And St. Louis will attempt to extend... And St. Louis will attempt to extend their winning streak to four games at St. Louis at 8 p.m. The Chicago Blackhawks are on a winning streak of their own as they ride a two-game streak defeating the New Jersey and Pittsburgh in the process. The Blackhawks hope to keep up the momentum going as they face Detroit Red Wings in Chicago tomorrow night at 7.30. 
I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to that game. I'm hoping that the Blackhawks can keep this momentum going. From Chicago, you know, you have to be a Blackhawks fan up there. Definitely. That dunk contest was definitely something, though, last night. It was. There was an amazing dunk contest last night. And, on, and speaking of basketball, it is Michael Jordan's birthday. So I want to say happy birthday to the big guy. Happy birthday. Hopefully he's watching. Yeah, hopefully he is watching. Maybe he is. All right, thank you, Sydney. Thanks, guys.